I have a price list in my workbook, and I use it for VLOOKUP formulas in other parts of the workbook. So I'm going to name this range so it will be easier to use in those other formulas. And to do that, I've selected all the cells in the table. I'll click in the name box and type a one word name for that list and press enter. So if I click away from that list now, click the arrow in the name box, I can see the name of the range. And when I select it, it goes to that range and selects it. So that's a very quick, easy way to name a range. But if I add another item to my list, so I'm going to sell a pencil and those will be 459. And now if I go back to my named range, it doesn't automatically include that new item. So naming a range this way is a quick, easy way to do it, but it doesn't work so well if you're going to add new items to your list too often. If you want the named range to grow automatically, you can create a dynamic named range. And we'll do that. And I'll start by just selecting a cell at the top of the list. And on the ribbon, I'll go to Formulas. And I'll click Define Name. The New Name dialog box opens. And I'm going to call this Price List Dynamic. And it's going to be a workbook name. And here it's just automatically saying it refers to the cell that I have selected. So I'm going to just highlight that because we're going to type over it. We're going to use a formula that's an offset formula. So I'll type equal and then offset, O-F-F-S-E-T, and an open bracket. So the offset formula starts at a certain cell in the workbook, and then it can go down a certain number of rows or over a certain number of columns to start. And then we tell it how many rows and columns there should be in our range that we're creating. So we're going to tell it where to start, and I'll click on B1 in our list. And then I'll type a comma. So that's where it starts. Then next we're going to tell it how many rows to go down, if any, and how many columns to go over to start this range. So we want it to start down a row, but we want to keep it in this column. We don't want to go over a column to start. So we want it to select this group of cells. So it'll go down one row and over zero columns. So I'll type a one. and a comma, and then a zero for the number of rows to move. And then finally, we're going to tell it how many rows there are in the range and how many columns. Now, the number of rows is going to change. So we want it to count whatever is in column B and use that as the number of rows. So I'll use the count A function, count A, and an open bracket. And then I'll click on the column heading for column B and close the bracket. Now, we don't want it to include the heading in the count, so we're going to subtract 1. So minus 1. So that's how many rows. Whatever's in column B, minus 1 for the heading. And then a comma. And we're not going to change the column number ever, so there are always going to be two columns and we'll just type a 2 there and close the bracket and click OK. So when we create a dynamic name, you won't see that appear in this drop down. But we can go to the name manager, and here's our price list dynamic. And when I click down here in the refers to box, you'll see that it highlights all the cells in our dynamic range. I'm going to close this. And we'll add, we're going to start selling 
a desk as well. And that's $100. So if I go back to my name manager now, click the dynamic range, it automatically has grown again to include our new row.